everyone, it's a beautiful day. We're outside and I want to apologize for the noise from the wind, but uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity and do a, a quick impromptu uh, review of this uh, 100D Model S that I've been given as a loaner while uh, I get some work done on the Model X. So uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I don't like about the car and some of the things that I do like about the car. So if you're thinking about getting one of these cars, Maybe this might help you a little bit. All right, so this is a loaner. As you can see, they didn't put a plate on the front because it has the dealer plates on it. But uh, on cursor examination, and it's pretty good. The fit and finish is good. You know, things like, uh, you know, consistent things. This is always an area here that Tesla tends to have trouble with. This is really nice. It fits well. Apologies. The car is a little bit dirty. It's a loaner. It's uh, brand new. It's a 100D. It has about uh, 3,000 kilometers on it. Matter of fact, it's so new that uh, they still have the... Uh, you know, the plastic underneath the carpets and I have it peeled off. By the way, this does have the new cream interior. I'll talk about that in a second. Again, a little bit more evidence, brand new car. I still got the sticker here <laughs> on the back tail light. So there's a couple of things about this car that are not the best. Now, these are things that uh, I'm going to report back to Tesla when I do get it. But one of the ones here, and I'll sit in the car here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, you heard that sound? Yeah, let's do that again. Sorry about the noise. Listen, you hear that little rattle? So it feels like this window is rattling a little bit when you close it. Yeah, oh, there it is, right there, look at that. So the interior trim piece is not on the car properly, so I'm gonna report that back to Tesla, which also explains this little bit. This is something I tweeted out a day ago, and people were like, what are you talking about? You can see here that this trim piece here on the door is higher, about a quarter inch, about you know six or seven millimeters higher than the uh, than the dash and if you compare that to the driver's side if you can see that hopefully you can see that it's uh, perfectly flush in reality here this door panel has not been installed properly so I don't know if it was damaged uh, during transit or it needs to be replaced whatever but like I said I'm gonna report this back to Tesla so that they can fix this for the next customer because let's face it this is a car that's gonna be sold to somebody eventually Hopefully you can see that, but you can see here that it's that the door panels become separated. You can see here that the little plastic clips are out of the door. So that explains where the rattle's coming from. Maybe if I just give it a little whack. Oh, there we go. We get a little whack. She's in. No, it's still a little bit loose. So I'm going to call it this part right here is not clipped in properly. But anyways, that'll get reported to Tesla. And compared to some of the other cars, I can see, you know, everything's nice and flush. Nothing's really high. They've done a good job on this car good fit and finish all right so let's talk about this interior this is the new cream interior it's uh, it's lighter than the old tan it's not you know the ultra white of course these are the premium seats uh, one of the things I don't like about the car is that the carpets are this light tan color um, it's not black so this is gonna get dirty very very quickly so if you get one of these cars I highly recommend you get some weather tech mats or something to protect it now if I sit inside the car there's something in here that I've discovered. Now, even though this is the new vegan interior, of course, this is the same material they're using on all the cars. What I found is that these cream seats have a much, much smoother finish than the ultra white seats that I have in my Model X. And it's uh, really noticeable when you're driving because I find that my butt is slipping around on these seats. It's like the, the ultra white seem to have a little bit more grip on them. It's like a rougher surface or something. So if you're thinking about these seats, make sure that you compare them. Now, of course, I can't speak to the black because I don't have access to a car to compare it to. But um, if you find that that's an issue, make sure you check that out because these are very smooth. So that's one thing I don't like about it. Uh, I'm finding myself uh, moving around a lot more. This car does have the sunroof. It doesn't have the all glass. So this is one of the options. By the way, this car, as I said, is a 100D. And, uh, you know, it's got 3,200 kilometers on it. It is a dealer car, so you've got this little uh, drop-down menu here where you can pick um, different uh, performance options to simulate the other cars. They do that on the, uh, on the loaners. I'm going to turn on the air conditioner here because I'm already boiling. The other thing that they do, of course, on the loaner cars is that the, um, they max out the... Uh, they max out the performance on this car. I can only go 140 kilometers an hour. So uh, on the highways here in Toronto, that's kind of like normal driving speed. I'm supercharging right now. I've never seen 110 kilowatt before. So that's kind of impressive. Again, this has the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. I'll talk about that here in a second. And the other thing this car has, and I can't tell you know, from the screen or anything, but it does have the premium uh, pack in here because I can go into cold weather. And you can see here, I can turn on the, 
the you know the steering wheel and the windshield washer defrosters and I can turn on the heat in the back seats and then there's your bioweapon defense mode turning that on as you can see it automatically puts the uh, fan to eight we'll just set that back set everything back there and of course the sunroof is another option on the car um, I, I'm not partial to sunroofs uh, you know if I was to order a car like this I would get the all glass but hey it's here and you can open it I'll tell you right now the best part of this car is the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. Oh my God, I can go forever on this thing. I, uh, I I drove around all day yesterday with it, and then last night I didn't charge it, and today I've been driving all over the place and I still arrived here. I'm uh, almost 130 kilometers from home, and I still arrive at 40%. So this battery just goes on and on and on. The only downside, of course, is that it's $20,000 Canadian more to get that. So if there's anything I would really like on the Model X is a bigger battery pack, but hey, money's money right so anyways that's my little impromptu review of the uh, new model s so it has some pluses it has some minuses but if you're thinking about one of these things um you know go in the showroom and check it out and stuff but uh i am a little envious of the model 3 people with their 75 kilowatt hour battery pack that gets about the same mileage as this thing does anyhow thumbs up i like it but i still prefer model x that's it for today see you later thanks for watching